integrate sine to the fourth power of 2 theta. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So whenever you have uh, even powers of sine and cosine, there's some identities you could use. So there's two identities. The first one is cosine squared of x is equal to 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. And the other identity is sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. So I have these memorized, and it's worth memorizing these just, you know, in general, like as general math knowledge. They come up enough to where uh, it's worth knowing. Uh, another one that's kind of related to these, and I don't know if we'll use it in this problem, but is sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. I just figured I'd mention this one here because I feel it comes up a lot uh, in, in mathematics. So we'll start by using the one for sine squared because we have sine to the fourth. Um, one way to do it is to do it in steps. Let's do it that way. You can write it like this. Sine squared of 2 theta times sine squared of 2 theta, d theta. And you can do that because sine squared times sine squared is sine to the fourth. And now we just apply this, this second here identity, the one for sine squared. So this is going to be 1 minus cosine of so here's the thing, our x here is 2 theta, so it's really cosine of 2 times x, so 2 times 2 theta, you see, so it's cosine of 4 theta, because it's 2, two theta, so it'll be 4 theta over 2. Again, just replacing the x with 2 theta, so if you put a 2 theta here, it means a different color where the x is, and a 2 theta here where the x is, you get 2 times 2 theta like down here, and so you get 4 theta. All right, same thing here, exactly the same thing. So 1 minus cosine of 4 theta. That's all over 2. And then we have our d theta. All right, let's keep going. So I guess the 2s can be multiplied. So 2 times 2 is 4, so we can write that as 1 fourth. Let's pull that out. And then we're left with 1 minus cosine theta, 4 theta times 1 minus cosine 4 theta. Let's distribute that. So 1 times 1 is 1. And then 1 times negative cosine 4 theta is negative cosine 4 theta. And then this times this is going to give us negative cosine 4 theta. And then cosine 4 theta times cosine 4 theta is plus cosine squared of 4 theta. I just foiled, showed all the steps. Why not? So there we go, d theta. All right, let's keep going. We can combine the cosine 4 thetas. So this is equal to 1 fourth integral 1 minus 2 times cosine 4 theta plus and then cosine squared of 4 theta. And then we have our parentheses and then we have our d theta. So how do we proceed now? Um, well, there's a couple ways to do it. I, I'm going for uh, breaking it up into three integrals. So this is 1 fourth, and then d theta, because that's just our 1. That's the first one here. And then 1 fourth times 2, it's going to give us minus 1 half integral cosine 4 theta, d theta. Right, that's the 1 fourth times the 2 that gives us a uh, negative 1 half. And then the last one is simply plus 1 fourth cosine squared of 4 theta. And then we have our d theta. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we can go ahead and integrate this first one here. When you integrate 1, you just get theta. So this is 1 fourth theta minus 1 half. When you integrate cosine, you get sine, because the derivative of sine is cosine. But here we have cosine of 4 theta. So to integrate this, you just divide by 4. So it's sine of 4 theta over 4. Okay, You can always do that when it's like cosine of a number times x or sine of a number times x. You say, OK, how do you integrate cosine? What's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So the integral of cosine is sine. 
and there's a four theta, so you just divide by four. Plus one fourth integral. Here we're going to use that identity. I'll write it down again. So cosine squared x is one plus cosine two x over two. So because we have cosine squared of four theta, that's going to be one plus cosine of two times four theta, so eight theta, right? Because it's two times four theta, which is eight theta, all over two. So this will be one plus cosine eight theta, all divided by two, and then we have our d theta. Let us keep going. So this is equal to one fourth theta minus one eighth, right? One eighth sine four theta. We can um, break this up as follows. How about plus one fourth? I'll do it in steps. This is one half plus one half cosine eight theta. I didn't want to skip too many steps here, but you can. You can skip more steps. So basically it's one over two and then cosine of eight theta over two. Just rewrote it like that. Now I'll go ahead and break it up in the next step. Again, you can skip steps. I just didn't feel like it was a good idea there. So one fourth theta minus one eighth sine four theta. Okay, distribute the one fourth. So this will be plus one eighth. Okay, d theta. It's really easy to mess up here. So one fourth. Uh, times one half is one eighth, and then same thing here, plus one eighth, right? One eighth again, integral of cosine of eight theta, d theta. Long problem, right? A lot of writing. We're getting there though. This is equal to one fourth theta minus one eighth sine four theta. Integrating one here again, we get one. We get theta, so it's one eighth theta. And like before, we have this situation um, where we have the integral of cosine of 8 theta. So you say, okay, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? So sine. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so the integral of cosine is sine. And then we have the 8 theta, so you just divide by 8. So it's sine of 8 theta over 8. Oh, we're almost done. Hurrah. Plus c. Last step. Uh, oh, oh, look at this. So we have 1 fourth theta plus one eighth theta. You have to add those. You can think of one fourth as two eighths. So one fourth theta is really two eighths theta. So two eighths theta plus one eighth theta is three eighths theta. Ridiculous. Minus one eighth sine four theta plus uh, one over sixty four sine eight theta plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that is the final answer. It only took a little over eight minutes. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Good luck.